This dump truck has really been frustrating me. This thing will start and idle really good. It will idle in the yard for 20 or 30 minutes, perfect. Then when I start driving around, it dies. And usually I cannot get it restarted. If you've seen some of my other videos, I've been clearing off the back property here. We're hoping to put in a swimming pool. That's been delayed a little bit because I really need to get this dump truck running. I'm trying to just use this Kubota. I'm loading it up by hand. I'm carrying off wood, trees, limbs, down into the woods. It's taken way too long. This thing's been sitting on my property for like a year. I keep tinkering with it. It's time to get this thing running. Today is February 16th. It's nice out here. It's very muddy, very wet. It was raining this morning, but we're in the low 60s right now. So that's nice for February. Last night when I got off work, I went and bought some parts for the dump truck. Hopefully we're gonna get them put on today and get this thing running good. A new HEI distributor, some 12 gauge wire, some timing tape, a new melanized gear, and some miscellaneous electrical connectors. There's a lot of traffic on this road today. I paid about $80 for this distributor from Summit Racing. I tried looking around at junkyards. I looked on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Everybody wants $40 or $50 for an old beat up distributor. I have no idea what kind of condition it's in, how long it's gonna last me. You want me to pay $50 for an old beat up dirty distributor. I got this brand new one with a warranty for about $80. $42 melanized gear. This truck is a 1988. It does have a roller cam in the engine. The new HEI distributor that I bought comes with an iron gear. So I had to buy a $42 melanized gear to put on the distributor. Apparently the iron gear is not good for a roller cam and some people have experienced the gear on the distributor chewing up the cam. I don't want to have that kind of problem. I did not want to take the risk. I've seen a lot of people in comments saying oh, that didn't happen to them. Well I don't want to have to go put more money replacing a cam in this thing. So I bought this. So this is what I get to stand in while I'm working on the dump truck. It's very muddy out here. Now this truck was originally a throttle body injection truck. The previous owner replaced the intake and added a carburetor where the TBI used to be. One thing they failed to do is replace the distributor. If you watch other videos, people always replace the factory or the computer controlled distributor with an HEI distributor. That's what I'm gonna try to do today. Now, this appears to be the original factory distributor. And there is the ignition coil. From everything I understand, it is controlled by the computer. Well, I don't even know that the computer is hooked up in this thing because there's so many things disconnected in here. I'm going to get started with taking off the spark plug wires. Unplug the distributor. I'm also going to unplug the ignition coil. I'm getting mud all over this truck as I'm working on it. Unbolt the ignition coil. I've 
got to bolt this bracket back down in here for the throttle cable. There's a lot of debris and stuff down here, dirt, leaves, and whatever, around the old distributor. So I'm going to take an old paintbrush and just try to sweep all that stuff away from there. The paintbrush was a terrible idea. I'm just going to use my air compressor and blow all that stuff off the engine. It's probably going to be a good idea for me to put a bag over the carburetor so as I'm blowing stuff around, it doesn't go in there. That carburetor is dirty enough as it is. I'm not trying to detail the engine here, but there's just a lot of dirt and leaves and whatever all over the back of the engine. When I pull the distributor out, I don't want that stuff falling down into the engine. Now we're going to try to unbolt the distributor. It's a little awkward. It's too short for me to get a socket and a ratchet in there. I'm at a weird angle with this wrench, but I think we can get it. Right now I can't seem to pull this distributor out, so I'm going to try to take the cap off of it. That seemed to help. I guess when I took the cap off, then I could actually spin this thing around. I don't know. Now look how nasty this thing is. Can you see all this? Uh, it's all falling off of there. I have no idea if this is the original. It is pretty rusted inside of here. It looks pretty old. Well, it says Napa, so it's not the original. I'm assuming General Motors did not use Napa parts. From what I can tell by looking this engine information up, the original distributors came with melanized gears. I don't know if that's true, but I think that's what I've seen. This thing is huge. I hope it fits in there. I've got to try to change out this iron gear with the melanized gear. We got to get this roll pin out of it. I hate roll pins. I've got some old screwdrivers here. I don't have a punch set that I can use, but I was finally able to beat this enough and get it started. I'm going to switch to a smaller screwdriver, try to drive it the rest of the way out. It's coming out. We're gonna put these washers back on this new melanized gear. I 
I'm gonna try to reuse this roll pin. I don't have another one. So hopefully this one's gonna work. We have managed to actually get it started in there. It just took enough pounding with the hammer, but we're getting it. Well, I think as I pound into the roll pin, the screwdriver might be spreading it open. So we're gonna cut the tip of this off. All right, let's try that. changed out to a melanized gear. I had to sacrifice a screwdriver to do it. I have probably owned that screwdriver at least 10 years. I've never used it. I've probably got 20 other old screwdrivers in there that I never use. But the roll pin looks pretty good. I think we got it in there good. I think the next thing I need to do is take this cap off of here. forgot to unplug it so we're gonna need to do that <laughs>